Pocosin City Manager has declared a local emergency there. Residents are being asked to voluntarily consider leaving before Friday night. Ten of your sides, Melanie Woodrow, shows us how residents are preparing. Here in Pocosin, gasoline is a hot commodity. We met the man who got the last little bit at this gas station. We also met the man who was the first to discover they'd run out. Attendants bagged pumps at a 7-Eleven on Victory Boulevard. Everybody needs gas for the generators. Paul Brown's luck was Alvin Ensley's misfortune. What's your gauge on right now? Empty. <laughs> Ensley waited until the last minute to fill up his tank, but not his fridge. Uh, we got food. The thing that worries me the most is things that I have in the icebox that we lost the last time. No need to worry about that. If the power was to go out, we would be able to be here to help the community in the best way we can. Desiree Rose owns Just Ice off Victory. Pocosin will give her a generator and foot the ice bill if there's an outage, from bags of ice to bags of sand. We do have a high tidal surge Saturday night. If not, I'll have a lot of play sand for my grandkids. Irene may not be welcome, but these residents are ready to let her in. You either live with it in this area or you don't live here. As of 3 p.m., the 7-Eleven pumps on Victory Boulevard in Pocosin were still empty. The folks that work here told me that they're hoping to get them filled back up before Irene hits. Reporting in Pocosin, Melanie Woodrow, 10 on your side. And Pocosin has established an information line. That number is 868-3005.